What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com recapping the news and I'll be honest there's not a lot of news in this video but I'm sure some of you if not most of you are watching this video because what I stated in the prior video and that is I was going to share more information on the Air Jordan 3 Black Cement release next year and also another Air Jordan 2018 release and I guess you could say the way Jordan brand is going the direction they will in 2018 but if you got a second like always I greatly appreciate a thumbs up let's finish the week off strong let's see if we can get 600 likes on this video and if you're not subscribed yet make sure to hit the red button just below and now let's jump into the news Big Baller brand has scrapped Lonzo Ball's first signature shoe, which is known as the Z02 Prime. Instead, they're releasing the Z02 Prime Remix. As you can see, the look is different, and Big Baller brand is saying that the remix is actually an upgrade from the Z02 Prime. Look-wise, I feel that it does look a little bit better, but still, that price tag steers me clear away. Now, if you did purchase the Z02 Prime, you won't be receiving that shoe, but instead, the Prime Remix. To be 100% honest, I'm not entirely sure why they scrapped the first model and decided to go with this one, maybe due to some sort of issues. But if you're interested in purchasing still, you can do so. The retail price is $495. And if you purchase now, they won't start shipping until January 30th of 2018. More in big baller brand news. <laughs> Gosh, I dislike reporting on this stuff and I know a lot of you do as well, but I feel like I should still include it in. LaMelo Ball's first signature shoe, which is known as the Mellow Ball 1, is being accused of stealing a logo. This isn't the first time that Big Baller brand has been accused of stealing a logo. Back when Lonzo Ball's first signature shoe was unveiled, Ohio State wide receiver coach Zach Smith accused the brand of stealing their logo. Now for the Mellow Ball 1, according to CTV News, Hannah Engel, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and I do apologize, who is the owner of Modern Body in Canada, and that's a yoga studio, is accusing Big Baller Brand of stealing her logo. Now as you can see, the logo that lands on the tongue features MB, and then you see Modern Body's logo, I mean, I, I see where she's coming from on this, but at the same time, I don't think there's enough resemblance to have an actual case. But I'm not a lawyer, and on a side note, Hannah has retained a copyright lawyer, and they have went ahead and sent over Big Baller Brand a letter. Obviously, we're not going to know the outcome for some time. She's probably going to request a cease and desist or some sort of compensation. But when there's more information available, if anyone's interested, I will share it with you guys. Since Converse is owned by Nike, they're also getting in on the new NBA partnership. They're going to release the Converse NBA collection, which features the Converse Chuck Taylor. Now, all 30 teams will be represented, and each shoe is constructed with actual NBA jerseys. In addition, we have leather detailing, embossed team logos, and Converse NBA patch on the inside of the tongue. Each team is limited to 250 pairs. Also, there's two sides of this. There's Legend and Franchise. The Legend includes a luxury model that represents winning legacies of five franchises Boston Celtics Chicago Bulls Golden State Warriors LA Lakers and New York Knicks the franchise version represents 13 NBA teams with their representative logos embroidered on the tongue and team name and detail screen printed on the mesh upper I don't know the retail price but more than likely on September 29th they will be available at converse.com we also have a first look at the Adidas Harden volume 2 which in my opinion I feel like is a big step backwards for the Harden line. I know this is only the second model, but the first one I did like. Now, if you're a fan of this model, I'm sure performance-wise it will be incredible. I don't know all the specific details, but as you can see, we do have a boost midsole. It looks a bit thicker than usual. In addition, the three stripes branding moves to the toe. We have holes on the panels, which allows you to adjust the lacing setup. Following, we do have mesh across the tongue. There's two colorways that were spotted. One comes in shades of blue while the other one is done in gray. Currently, we don't have a release date or a retail price, but the Adidas Harden Volume 1 was unveiled back in October. So I would assume that the Harden Volume 2 would debut sometime in October, maybe even November. Now to Nike and just a quick update. 
The Nike Air Max 97 Atlantic Blue released yesterday at Nike.com. Unfortunately, this pair has sold out. Now, why am I sharing this if they sold out? Well, you can expect additional Nike sportswear retailers to have them very soon. We don't have a set release date on the shoe, but I will make sure to update you. And if I'm able to get them in hand, definitely will make sure to do a review. More towards the end of this month, Nike Basketball will release the Nike Kyrie 3 in University Red. Now to be specific, they feature that University Red and Wolf Gray. We do have a little bit of white and yellow. I'll get to all that in a second. Now, looking closer, they feature red suede across the panels, which also features a quilted pattern and Kyrie Irving's signature embossed. In addition, the Nike swoosh is embroidered and that's done in wolf gray. White covers the outsole with a little bit of yellow. For those that are interested in purchasing, they drop on September 30th and the retail price will be $120. In this video, we have a few Nike Air Vapor Max releases to look at. And as most of you know, Nike Sportswear will also release a few variations of the model known as CS and the Strap Edition. But here we have the original model and it comes in a clean gray and navy colorway. Flyknit is used across the uppers and up top we have predominantly gray. On the lower part of the shoe we have navy blue. In addition there's like a little bit of a darker blue that lands on the swoosh and completing the look is a full length visible Vapor Max Air unit. At the time of shooting this we don't have release details or any information, not even a month. They should retail for 190 more information on the way. The second Vapor Max to share with you guys is a brand new multicolor edition and that rainbow slash multicolor look runs across the lower part of the shoes and it wraps the entire shoes actually. And then we have gray on the uppers. Following we have white on the fly wire cables as well as the Nike swoosh. And then once again we have our visible full length Vapor Max Air unit. Once again no release information for this pair. Personally I do like them. I think they're pretty dope. But retail price should be 190 And once I have more information on this pair I definitely will make sure to let you guys know. On to Jordan Brand and some months back I shared with you guys a preview image of the upcoming Jordan generation. Now I know most people will not like this shoe, but it is inspired by the Air Jordan 12 and you can really see that through the lower part of the shoe including the midsole and outsole. Now as you can see they feature a strap on the uppers along with a buckle and then across the midfoot we have another strap. This pair is known as black and chrome because they feature that all black and chrome. On the uppers, it appears that we do have leather as well as textile and the shoes are finished off with a translucent icy outsole. So if you're interested in this pair, they are available now at Nike.com. The retail price will be 160. More than likely, if you do like them, just be patient, they'll go on sale. Here is something crazy rare that we have a first look at, I believe, because I've never seen this PE before, or sample, whatever you'd like to call them, but Jordan Brand designed a special Air Jordan 1 for Ichiro Suzuki. And the color theme is inspired by his time while playing with the Seattle Mariners. Now, I'm not even sure when this shoe was produced, but as you can see, they feature a Seattle Mariners theme, which is highlighted in teal. We have black and then white on the midsole as well. Now, looking even closer, probably the biggest highlight of the shoe is Ichiro's silhouette, which lands on the hill, and that mimics his stance in the batter's box. Now, all things aside, I really wish Jordan Brand would release an Air Jordan 1 just like this. We could have green on it or even this shade of teal. I have no problem with that whatsoever. It doesn't have to have the silhouette on the hill. I'm definitely fine without it. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. In yesterday's video, I promised you guys that I would share some more 2018 information with you. And currently, I'm having some photoshops mocked up, but I do have something to share as well as more information on the Air Jordan 3 Blacksmith. Now, shown on the screen is a brand new Air Jordan 7 that will feature black emerald rise in black. Now, first up, I gotta say this information comes from Soul Heat on Feet, and the photoshop was done by Jays Are Dead. Links to both of them will be in the description below. So from the color description, it appears that they'll feature a predominant black base and then emerald rise will be accented throughout. Now, they could look like this Photoshop that's on screen or it could be something totally different. On a side note, this won't be the only Air Jordan Retro to release featuring emerald rise in 2018. Jordan Brand has a few others that I know of. But for those that are interested in this pair, they're expected to drop sometime during June of 2018 and the retail price will be 190. One of the biggest highlights in the previous video was 
that the Air Jordan 11 Midnight Navy aka UNC is rumored to be canceled. Now I did check with my sources and currently the model is still in the system. It does show a release date for November 11th but at any given moment, Jordan Brand could cancel the shoes. So it's still up in the air for now. And until I hear something from Jordan Brand itself, I'm going to just call it a rumor. Now, one thing I can say is more than likely the production cut seems right because I was told that the Air Jordan 3 Black Cement has been cut as well. So before anyone jumps to conclusions here, I still don't know if this is going to be a limited release. For example, if they were going to release a million pairs of the shoe, but now they're going to cut the production to 500,000, that's still a big release in my opinion. A lot of retailers that place big orders for the Air Jordan 3 Black Cement, they're actually scaling them back quite a bit. And the reason due to that is because they're not going to produce as much. Now there's a lot of speculation on this. Is it because that Adidas is now in the number two spot and Jordan Brand in the number three? more than likely that isn't the case. I think it dates back further than that because for example, let's think about this here. Even if Air Jordans are going on sale, Jordan brand is still making money. They could sell the shoes for like 40 bucks and they're still doubling their profit. But what really does hurt them is the fact that a lot of people see them sitting on shelves. At the end of the day, a lot of people are saying Jordan brand fell off, they're not the same, yada, yada, yada. And they're going to lose that appeal. So 10 years from now, 15 years from now, that could hurt the brand. Currently, they won't, but you're going to expect changes like this to happen. Also, I know that there's another Air Jordan 7 that was going to drop next year. That has been scrapped. I'm actually finding out which shoe that is. And this is very common, even on the Nike side of things. I'll probably update in another video. From Nike, there's a Nike Air Pippin 1 that's going to drop next year that was expected to. I shared it with you guys, and that has been scrapped. So a lot of things go on in the background of things. A lot of inline images, which is also known as catalog images, they get leaked things get changed. So with all that being said, I'll make sure to update you guys. I'm going to actually have some more conversations uh, with my friend about all the upcoming releases. I'm going to find out a bit more. And like I mentioned earlier, I'll have the photoshops done and show you guys. Also on a side note, if you're listening this far, I can share some additional information with you guys. I'll probably go over it next week's video as well. The Air Jordan 14 last shot, which was a rumor. It wasn't confirmed because nobody supplied a product number. Now that is confirmed. I have the product number. It's on sneakerfiles.com. It will drop during the summer. Not only that, Jordan Brand is really going to go hard on the Air Jordan 14. As you guys know, not just with the shoes, but they're going to be releasing a ton of apparel. Also, the last shot theme, that won't just be on the Air Jordan 14. That whole theme will be on various shoes as well. And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfiles.com, and then we take it to YouTube. So what I'm feeling from this video, um, the Air Jordan 7 Emerald Rise, I mean, it's just a Photoshop, but it's kind of decent. I'll say that. Um, I'm not a huge, huge fan of the Air Jordan 7. I do like them, but I like more of the OG style. I'm kind of tired of the retro releases. I feel like the shape is all off, but that's here nor there. The Air Jordan 1 Ichiro sample. I know I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I do apologize. That is dope, and I just like that shade of teal, and I love the color blocking. I mean, I'm sure everybody does. The Air Jordan 3 Black Cement, I mean, that kind of goes without saying but that does it for me make sure to be on the lookout for monday's video and also leave a comment below let me know from this video what you liked or what you disliked thanks for watching stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com and if you haven't yet make sure to subscribe